In this next part of the multi-step trig problems worksheet under the geometry section on the CUDA software website, we're going to be finding the area of each triangle, rounding our intermediate values to the nearest tenth, and then using the rounded values to calculate the next value. And eventually we're going to round our final answer as well to the nearest tenth. So since we're calculating area, remember area equals one half the base times the height. So we need to solve for our height h, and we need to figure out our base. A portion of our base is 46. So we need to calculate x, this length, in order to add that to 46 to get our total base. So our height is equal to h, and our base is equal to 46 plus x. Let's first start by solving for our height. We're given that this angle is 70 degrees, Opposite that angle of 70 degrees is 46, and adjacent is our height of h. Adjacent and opposite, we're going to be using tangent. So the tangent of 70 degrees equals opposite side 46 over the adjacent side h. Multiply h to both sides in order to get that out of the denominator. So h times the tangent of 70 degrees equals 46. So my next step will be to divide by the tangent of 70 degrees. Now when I divide by the tangent of 70 degrees, I'll be left with h on the left hand side of my equation. And making sure my calculator is in degree mode, 46 divided by the tangent of 70 degrees is equal to 16.74, which I'll round to 16.7. So our height is 16.7. So we can enter that in for h, 16.7. Now we just need to figure the base, which we need x to do. We're given that this angle is 44 degrees. And since this is a right triangle, we can use a trig function. We now know that the opposite side, or our height, is 16.7. And we're looking for x, which happens to be our adjacent side. So opposite and adjacent, again, we'll use tangent. So the tangent of 44 degrees equals the opposite side, which is our height of 16.7, over our adjacent side, x. So again, I want my variable out of the denominator, so I'll multiply both sides by x. So x times the tangent of 44 degrees equals 16.7. So now I'm going to divide by the tangent of 44 degrees. And dividing by the tangent of 44, I'll get x on my left hand side all by itself. So x is going to be equal to 16.7 divided by the tangent of 44. That is 17.29, which rounds to 17.3. So now I can plug x in as 17.3. So my base is equal to 46 plus 17.3, which is 63.3. So now my area formula. Area equals 1 half my base of 63.3 times my height of 16.7. 0. 0.5 times 63.3 times 16.7 equals 528.55, which will round to 528.6. And that is my area in number five. And number six, we need to figure out our base and we need to figure out the height. The height is this dashed blue line, let's call this h, and our base is 41 plus the length x. So let's start by calculating the height. We're given that this angle is 50 degrees, we know that the opposite side is 41 and the adjacent side is h. So opposite and adjacent, we're using the tangent. So the tangent of 50 degrees equals the opposite, 41, over the height. Multiplying both sides by h in order to get the h out of the denominator, we'll have h times the tangent of 50 degrees equal to 41. So now we just need to divide by the tangent of 50 degrees to get that h is equal to 41 divided by the tangent of 50. Entering that in on our calculators, we'll get 34.40, which rounds to 34.4. So our height, h, is 
4. And now we can use height to solve, which we'll plug into our base. So we have this angle 65 degrees, x is opposite that angle, and 34.4 is adjacent, so we'll be using tangent. So the tangent of 65 degrees equals our opposite side, x, over our adjacent side, which is the height of 34.4. Multiplying both sides by 34.4, I'll get that x is equal to 34.4 times the tangent of 65, which equals 73.77, so 73.8. Now that we have x, we'll plug that into our base equation. 41 plus x is 41 plus 73.8 which is equal to 114.8. Now we can plug base and height into our area formula. Area equals one half of our base of 114.8 times our height of 34.4, which equals 1,974.56. So 1,974.6 when rounded. That is the area and number six. In number seven, our height h, we need to solve for, and we also need to solve for our base, which is 29 plus x. Let's start by solving for h. We're given that h is opposite 30 degrees and the adjacent side length is 29. So opposite over adjacent, we're going to be using tangent. The tangent of 30 degrees is equal to the opposite side h over our adjacent side of 29. Multiplying both sides by 29, we'll get that h is equal to 29 times the tangent of 30. Typing that into our calculators, we'll get 16.74, which will round to 16.7. So now we have a height of 16.7, and we'll use that height to solve for x. Now looking at x, x is opposite that angle of 52 degrees and our adjacent side is 16.7. So opposite and adjacent, we're using tangent. The tangent of 52 degrees is equal to the opposite side x over the adjacent side of 16.7, which is our height. Now we'll just multiply both sides by 16.7 to solve for x. 16.7 times the tangent of 52 degrees is 21.37, which rounds to 21.4. So if x is 21.4, we'll plug that in to the equation for our base. So we'll have 29 plus 21.4, which equals 50.4. Now let's plug their base and the height into our area formula. Area equals one half of our base which is 50.4 times the height, which is 16.7. One half times 50.4 times 16.7, entering that into our calculators, we'll get 420.84, which rounds to 420.8. So 420 and 8 tenths is the area for number seven. And lastly in this video, I'll go over number eight. However, before I do the answer to this, Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All likes and subscriptions are greatly appreciated. Also, if you have any comments or are confused on any of the steps, just leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So remember, since we're using the area formula, area equals one half the base times the height for a triangle. So we need to solve what the base is and solve for what the height is. Our height is represented by this dashed blue line will make variable h. And our base is 32 plus this unknown length we'll call x. So 32 plus x is the base. In order to solve for x, we'll need to solve for the height. The height is the side of the triangle that's opposite 70 degrees. So if we have opposite and we also have the adjacent side of 32, we'll use tangent. So the tangent of 70 degrees equals the opposite side h over the adjacent side of 32. We'll multiply both sides by 32 
to get that our height h is equal to 32 times the tangent of 70. 32 times the tangent of 70 is 87.91, which rounds to 87.9. So now we can plug our height in as 87.9. Note that the height is opposite this angle of 29 degrees and x is adjacent. So again, using tangent, the tangent of 29 degrees is going to be equal to our opposite side, 87.9 our height over our adjacent side x. We'll multiply both sides by x in order to get that variable out of the denominator. So x times the tangent of 29 equals 87.9. Next, we'll divide by the tangent of 29. In doing that, we'll get x by itself and x will be equal to 87.9 divided by the tangent of 29 which is 158.57, which rounds to 158.6. Now we can plug x in to our equation for our base. So 32 plus 158.6 equals 190.6. And if area is 1 half of the base times the height, our area is going to be equal to 1 half of 190.6 times our height of 87.9. So 1 half 0.5 times 190.6 times 87.9 will equal 8,376.87, which rounds to 8,376.9. And that is our final solution in this video for the area of the triangle in number 8. Join me in the next video where I'll finish out this worksheet completing numbers 9 through 12. And as always, like, subscribe, and share.